Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. I am Elmer J. Fudd, millionaire. I own a mansion and a yacht. Again, I am Elmer J. Fudd, millionaire. I own a mansion and a yacht. That's right, it is Yacht Rock. Wednesday, and on this day, I like to do adult contemporary hits from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and they are normally of a Caucasian persuasion. Now, I did mention in the last video that the next person I was going to play that did songs that were more to the heart and soul of like ending a relationship, and uh, that person is Phil Collins. Now, I have a deep relationship with Phil Collins' music, almost as much as maybe Prince and even Michael Jackson. And the reason why is that if you've gotten out of a relationship, there is nobody that can, you know, like Misery Loves Company, there's no misery like the misery of Phil Collins after he's had a breakup because he always comes out with that one particular song that you like, he gets it, you know, he gets how I feel. He gets the misery of it all, even though there might be, you know, love involved still, but he realizes that this relationship is over, but he hates that fact. And so the song that I'm going to do is off of the same album as In the Air Tonight, and that is called If Leaving Me Is Easy. And so, when in 1984 as when I came back from the UK and I came to Columbus, Ohio, and I was involved with a bunch of teens that decided that they were going to, you know, uh, rob this place. Uh, I was along for the ride. I didn't get out of the car. But when they came back to the car, they had all these cassette tapes and they had uh, some other things and they had like this Jethro Tull uh, t-shirt. And when they got back, I said, I was like, hey, you guys got all this stuff? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, do you guys want these cassette tapes? And they're like, nah, you can have them. Do you want this t-shirt? Nah, you can have that. And so what the tapes that they stole was everything that Phil Collins had done from 1980 all the way up until 1984. And so I was a happy as a, you know, I was a little lamb. And, and then I had my Jeff, Jethro Tull t-shirt, which I knew who Jethro Tull was. It's not like I only knew any other song other than Aqualung. But, you know, those are the things that I had and it helped get me more into Phil Collins. Uh, and this song really touched my soul. Now, the one thing I just found out and I, you know, I. You know, I didn't think about it, but it says this was the first of two Phil Collins singles that featured Eric Clapton. Get the fuck out of here! I didn't know Eric Clapton was on this song. It said the other single was I Wish It Would Rain Down, uh, which uh, I really, really love that song is too. But you can hear the Eric Clapton guitar solos in there. He's actually featured. It says, Collins revealed on the Making of Face Value episode of Classic Albums that he decided to stop performing this song live on stage following his 1985 No Jacket Required tour because he disliked the audience yelling and screaming instead of being quiet while he performed this song. It also says Collins performed this song on a BBC music show, Top of the Pops, with a bucket of paint and a paintbrush on top of his electric piano, a reference to his first wife's affair with the painter and decorator. You know what? That's some deep shit right there where you're going to perform a song about that affair and you're going to have little items that will always remind that ex, whenever she sees that performance, like, yeah, I'm talking about you, bitch. You're a bitch. That's who I'm talking about. But, you know, um, 
It's the saxophone in this song that really gets in my feels. And, you know, it's just the vibe of the song. And when I look this up, it says this song is considered the genre of soul and R&B. And I can understand that completely. And I hope you will too. Now let's take a look at what this song did on the charts. And I will tell you, this is an exception to the rule. I think the fact that this song was so sad and so melancholy and bluesish and things like that, that United States really didn't know what to do with this song. And you know, this, you know, after In the Air Tonight, they didn't know like, what the fuck is this? You know, they didn't know what to do with this song. So here's what it did on the charts and Balamo. It went to number 61 in Germany, number 25 in Ireland, and number 17 in the UK. And that's all it did. But it's a favorite of mine, uh, along with tearing and, and tearing, breaking, tearing and breaking down. That's another song. The song is Love Songs compilation album. Uh, that that really gets to me as well. But this one was one of the first ones that was like, you know what? I like Phil Collins, and I think I'm gonna love Phil Collins for the rest of my life, and I have ever since. So. If you like videos like this and others on the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm trying to do at least 10 videos each and every week. So, without any further ado, and I think the video that I have, I had to actually create this video, but I think I got it from the Top of the Pops performance. So I'm gonna look for the, the paint can and paintbrush on top of the electric piano to see if it's there. So. Without any further ado, here is Phil Collins and If Leaving Me Is Easy. Stop. Stop. All right, I don't need you to do that for me anymore. I'm doing me now, all right? Thanks for coming. I got a business to run. I'm sure you can respect that, right? Next.
Oh yeah, that's the song right there. That is the jam. And again, I saw the paintbrush and the paint can on the electric piano. So that's that's some shit right there. Phil's vicious. Uh, he's a savage. But you know what? I love him all the same. You know because you know here is somebody speaking from the male's perspective. You know this happened to me where. You know, I had exes in the past that have cheated. I've never cheated on an ex, but I've had, and I'm not just saying this because it's my camera and I'm in front of it. No, I've had exes cheat on me and I've never cheated on them. Uh, and it was, uh, it's heartbreaking. But, you know, there are certain instances, and I'm not saying I'm a simp or anything like that, where you're like, you know, you continue with the relationship because there's the love. You know, there are, you know, just like maybe with other relationships, you know, that have money, because <laughs> I never really had a lot of money, but, you know, that have money where you're in it because you still have that person there, your best friend and things like that. And he's saying, like, he's still, you know, I'm here if you want to come back back but you know if leaving me was so easy for you to do if cheating on me was so easy for you to do then coming back is going to be harder because now you've got to change your ways you've got to do certain things that are different because now i know what you do i know your modus operandi and that's not going to pass you're not going to be able to pull the wool over my eyes again so you know something's got to change and maybe it's me that's got to change and not, you know, put up with that stuff. But you know what? It is what it is. And it's still a great, great song. And even with the orchestration that's in there, it's kind of just, you know, very melancholy and, and there. But it just makes the song even more beautiful. And it's, you know, in a way, it's very, very simple. And again, that saxophone comes on there and it just like all of a sudden your blues get taken to another level, <laughs> level down, if you know what I mean. So if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.